Tonight, the Prime Minister's private talks with News Limited in the wake of the hacking scandal. Interest rates on hold, but there's a warning from the Reserve Bank. And paying the price for hitting a police officer. Hello, I'm Sandra Sully. This is 10's Late News. Hi, I'm Adam Hawes and this is Sports Tonight. A giant fight in AFL after an Adelaide Crow defects. Given my injury and Adelaide Football Club's need to plan, I thought it was better to tell people now of my decision rather than delay until later in the year. And why Michael Ennis says he's the man to lead the dogs from next season. First tonight, the Prime Minister has met with editors of News Limited after saying they faced hard questions in the wake of the phone hacking scandal. TEN's Jess Pelliccioni has more from the meeting. Jess? The Prime Minister and News Limited CEO John Hartigan put on a united front as they left the company's Sydney offices this evening. The pair shook hands after the meeting, which lasted about two hours. Miss Gillard, though, declined to comment on what was discussed during her address to the editors. Prime Minister, what have you had to say to the editors? This oh, we've had a chat. Thanks very much. Miss Gillard was invited to the meeting after saying News Limited had some hard questions to answer over the British phone hacking scandal which involved its sister company. Prior to the meeting, the Prime Minister said she'd planned to talk about the government's reform agenda, which might include an inquiry into the Australian media and her vision for the future. So at this point, it seems we'll have to wait for more details to emerge about what was discussed and what Miss Gillard has in store for News Limited. Jess, thank you. There is relief for borrowers with the Australian Reserve Bank keeping rates on hold for another month. But the decision has come with a warning. The Treasurer isn't the only one relieved with the interest rate reprieve. Welcome relief for families and businesses that are doing it tough. So if you're struggling with cost of living pressures, pressures, every dollar counts. The Reserve Bank says although it has concerns about the medium term outlook for inflation, the ongoing uncertainty in global financial markets has prompted a conservative approach. I think it would be a courageous Reserve Bank to be increasing interest rates in this sort of environment. The housing industry hopes it will kickstart building after new figures from the ABS show approvals dropped 15.5% in the year to June. Certainly there's a lack of confidence in housing at the moment and uh, concern about interest Interest rates uh, and the prospect for higher rates has much to do with that lack of confidence. And there is a warning from the Reserve Bank. They're sending signals that if inflation doesn't get under control, then they'll be lifting interest rates. And there's more relief for the government. After 15 months, a deal's finally been reached on health reform. This agreement delivers the most fundamental change to health care in this country since Medicare. New South Wales will finally get its fair share of health funding. I am positive about uh, the outcomes, but I'm realistic as well. It's not surprising the states are happy. The $175 billion deal is dramatically different to the one Kevin Rudd wanted. Now the states don't have to give up a portion of their GST revenue to pay for the reforms. She's capitulated to the states. They've got everything that they've asked for and the federal government have got nothing in return. Doctors warn there's not enough money and too much bureaucracy. John O'Doherty, 10 News. To Sports Tonight and Adam, defections in the AFL has got one club pretty upset. Yes, Sandra, the Adelaide Crows are not happy at losing one of their best young players to Greater Western Sydney. We'll tell you all about it next. <laughs> So tonight, the Poms in pursuit of Test Cricket's top spot. Plus, taking it to the extreme, heli-skiing in New Zealand. 